Okay, I'm just going to talk over these ones that I've done here. I know I haven't given you an awful lot of time. Um, I didn't want to actually, in the end, I didn't use these values in the table, but I can show you how you could another time if you wanted to. First one, though, we wanted the top 10% of people to be brighter than a particular IQ or, or more clever than a particular IQ. And when you then use the inverse function on the calculator, you get 119.2 because it had to be 90% because it was less than or equal to. However, if you were to use the table, we want this table here. This statement can be used for this table. Maybe I didn't make this clear before, but this table, rather annoyingly, tells you the probability that z is greater than a particular value. It's just they've flipped it around for this table. Um, so I could standardize it. I could see from this table the value of z for 0.1 is 1.2816. Uh, so you get the probability that z is greater than 1.2816 is 0 0.1. And then if I standardize this, by doing a take away sh the mean divided by the standard deviation, I know that's equal to 1.2816. So 1.2816 times 15 plus 100 is 119.2 to one decimal place, which is the same as what the calculator does. So you don't have to use these tables. I just kind of thought it was maybe useful, but I actually think maybe it's possibly more confusing. This one we could do on the calculator as normal. If we then come across to these ones that we have over here, trying to put them in terms of phi, you'll notice how I've done a sketch when I was doing these questions. So you should always do a sketch when you're doing these. Um, so for this one, x being greater than 115, I changed the x to a z because I was standardizing it, which meant I also had to standardize the 115, so it came up as this. So it became that z was greater than 1, but that's not in phi notation, so I had to make it as a less than 1, so it became 1 minus phi of 1. Again, I drew a diagram for this one that I've got down here between 77.5 and 112. So I standardized the x by changing it to a z, and I standardized the 77.5 and the 112 by using the take away the mean divided by the standard deviation, and I came up with this. My sketch then allowed me to think, OK, well, it's the probability of it being less than 0 0.8 minus the probability of it being less than 1.5 which then allowed me to put it into that phi notation that I've got there. These ones over here were kind of using logic skills. If it's between minus a and a, which is 0 0.2, well, it's symmetrical. So if this middle bit is 0 0.2, either end is going to be 0 0.4 because it's symmetrical. So the probability it's less than a, because that's what our calculator can access for us, is that a is less than, uh, sorry, probability that z is less than a is 0 0.6. These two bits added together. You can either do that on the calculator or you could use the table, but I prefer the calculator. And then for this last one here, because it's between 0 and a, well, I know this left-hand branch over here is 0 0.5 because it's exactly half of it. The branch that they've told us is 0 0.35, so I changed it to a statement that was 0 0.85, and I used the calculator, but you could have used the table for that as well. Okay. So there's nothing really that's new other than this concept of standardizing. And so far, it's been like, well, what's the point of this? I literally could have done every single one of these questions myself. I could have done all of these on a calculator. So now, this next section is the bit that's going to, uh, that's going to show us that. Okay, so I'm just going to separate this out. <laughs>